Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from PowerSonic and Apprentice One to One. Today we are installing another Give Energy All in One with Gateway. This time without solar. And I thought it might be interesting to speak a little bit about some of the benefits of just having a battery storage system. This is the 13.5 kilowatt hour battery from Give Energy. It will input and output continuously at six kilowatts and it will peak to 7.2. It is an absolute beast and value for money i think it's almost impossible to be we've installed this in combination with a zappy ev charge point customer's choice i'm going to show you a bit of the setup and installation of that as well this house is absolutely huge we are going to be back to do some solar pv on it at some stage in the future but the customer is just keen to get into the battery ecosystem for the time being they've got an electric vehicle on the way so we're getting them started i'll show you what i can we can't film wide angle back from the property um, because we don't have permission to do so but we can go in closer we can talk about what this stuff does and i'll take you on that journey right now so we have got our battery storage system outside to make sure we comply with the pas this is um, perfectly acceptable to install outside they just want it protected from the worst of the elements we're on a north facing wall you can see we have some protection i'll show you a bit and talk a bit more about that later on in the video but i just wanted to show you on the little sheet on the side of the product that it is ip65 it will work to minus 20 and plus 50. it's just worth keeping in mind that in the very coldest weather and the very hottest weather performance can be impacted um, this will charge at 25 amps it'll discharge at 25 amps that's continuous it will peak slightly above that it is an absolute beast in terms of operation you can see there's the dcmcb on the side of here which switches off the power from the batteries to the inverter you've also got your power button here so if you hold that down five seconds it shuts the product down if you hold it down another five seconds it will turn it back on as we showed in prior videos you've got all your wiring connections in here if you want to see how all that goes together dig back into the channel we've got loads of content on that uh, this is securely mounted to the wall but its weight is carried on its feet on the floor we need to have a little tidy up around here which we're going to do i'll run you through um, how we're making our isolations on this and where those are located later on in this video but if you're a consumer and you're looking for battery storage give energy and in particular the all-in-one is incredibly hard to beat in terms of performance and value it's market leading it is a premium product and um, whilst others have tried to catch up in the intervening years since this product came to market it's still very much at the forefront in terms of capability and give energy you're always making subtle little tweaks we've seen the evolution of these little screws here it seems stupid but they're on the side now where before they were on the top that makes it easier for us as installers unboxing they even come without the screws fitted now so we can get them out of the case that it comes in much more easily you can see it bleeping away and doing its thing here because it's currently on commission so it's currently running through that process and we'll keep a little eye on how that works through the course of the video as well if you're wanting a proposal for one of these please do drop a message over the link to our website is in the description of this video we love these we really like installing them um, any battery storage systems we're not discriminatory we will cover other products as you've seen on the channel we've done the sig energies the solaxes um, so we are open to other products on the market as well but these are our particular favorites so yeah please do get in touch there's loads of other installs on the channel if you want to see an in-depth one on those please do hunt that out and have a watch through it we've got all of this covered away so there's nothing else on show around it the isolator is just down the wall there i'll take you to see it in a minute but yeah just nice and neat trying to keep everything um out of the way as possible if we scoot along to here i'll keep you in close to the wall because i don't really want you to know exactly where we are this is a big property but we've got these two mcg isolators here um, fortunately i forgot to order the usual m2 ones we use so we've had to go to cities and this is what they had on the shelf both 63 amp isolators one is doing our all-in-one and the other is doing a zappy which is just around this corner now it didn't necessarily need that for the zappy however we're a good distance away from the consumer unit and switch gear so it made sense to us to have that out of sight and it can be locked on by the consumer if they want i don't think they're going to have anybody coming in here and interfering with it but it's there if needs be they can do so we're just running through the firmware update on this it's just finished actually so i can show you if we can get in close enough on a nice enough light um some of the setting adjustments you need to make this is actually quite difficult but we'll give it a whirl uh if you go into your other settings first and just make sure your time and dates adjusted which it has if we now go into the advanced settings with the super secret code which is the four zeros uh, we can do our ct config so in this case we've got ct1 as the grid which it is 
CT2 is an AC battery, so that's the give energy all in one. So we can pop that in there as well. We then need to go to our supply grid and into network, and we're going to set an export margin. And this is just to try and give it the best possible prospect of never discharging the battery. Uh, we can change it the battery to avoid drain, and that should, whoops, if I actually leave it on the right setting, then stop the Zappi from draining the battery. Now there are some other setting changes you can made as, make as well. So if you're wanting to link in this to another system, if this was a slave, for example, this is the first bit of my energy software, my energy hardware this consumer's got. You can see at the minute it's showing us what the grid is doing and the battery is currently going through its commission. You may be able to hear it beeping in the background. Once it's finished, uh, we can have a little look and make sure that's all playing nicely. I just thought I'd just quickly show you how you go about that. If you're going into commission this, uh, you need to go into your internet settings and just check you are online. We are because we've done the software update. And then if you go into information, you can see you have got uh, the server currently unregistered. So we've not done the registration on this yet. So if I remember where you actually find the information to do that, it's here, look. So it's in the information section, page two. You've got your serial number and your registration code, so you can put that onto an app and have sight of what it's actually doing. So we can get that integrated to the consumer's app right now. So I thought we'd have a look at the main intake and you can see the existing consumer unit is a 16th edition MK board and it is an AC RCD in there. We've also got our gateway and that is powered from our Proteus isolator. You can see there we've done a power over Ethernet adapter, a power line adapter to give us a physical data connection to the equipment. Have a chat about that in a sec. But we've got our Proteus Tails isolator that brings the grid feed over into the gateway. And then we take the load consumer unit tails out of the gateway up into that existing board. The TP link here has got three wired connectors. One is for the gateway, one the all-in-one, and one the Zappi. The AIO and PV breakers are in the gateway along with the EV charger. And we've got our three MCBs here, which is grid, bypass, and load. Bypass would normally be in the off position, but we're currently commissioning. So that's left on to have power on those final circuits. The Proteus brake is a B40. Now, Give Energy do dictate B32 for their own EV charge points. However, my view is upsizing these is a good thing to be doing. We don't want them running near their maximum rated capacity, so both the cable and the breaker have had a bit of an upgrade. These are now Type A on the RCD protection for the PV and AIO circuits. When these launched, they were Type AC, so that's a nice improvement in the gateway. And again, these are quite big in the space they take up, but ABB, solid brown, C-types, and they're looking after those circuits quite nicely. We'll be able to add PV to this later on. The 16th edition board could do with a bit of an upgrade. However, when we're running in island mode, we have that RCD protection on our PV and the AIO. The commission is running through there, and this is always the thing that has you sat waiting and twiddling your thumbs a little. But fortunately, the gateway came up to date already. So it's a shame we don't have solar PV on this one, because as you can see, the weather is absolutely glorious. It's about 25 degrees. There's not a cloud in the sky. We've got our Zappi on the wall there doing its thing in combination with the Give Energy system. These things can be made to play nice. We always have that challenge of getting the um, battery, the house battery, not to discharge to your electric vehicle. And while stuff isn't in the same ecosystem, that's not as easy as it could be. But the Zappi gives you the best prospect and reliability of that happening. Um, I've gone for the Give Energy EV charger on my own home because I found that at times, however hard you tried with your CTs and your setup, it would still happen. When you're in the same ecosystem, as I shared probably a couple of videos before this, demonstrating the Give Energy EV charge point installation, that's a thing of the past. It just stops happening and it's all controlled in the same app, all talking to each other, um, and it, it's gone forever, hopefully. I'm sure there'll be the odd gremlin that could crop up, but so far, has so good. Uh, and that's the solution to your home energy and your vehicle energy merging together as we move to vehicle to grid that needs to get even more interconnected and i think you need to forward plan that when you are getting your solar and your battery storage now and be comfortable in the ecosystem that you're getting at your home because it's much easier to continue that rather than add in other devices and um, the customers wanted this one because it integrates really well with octopus and the tariffs that they offer in terms of electric vehicle charging so that's the reason it's here. My energy have a great link up with Octopus in that aim. And I don't believe the Give Energy EV charger currently has that in a standalone, right? 
However, the all-in-one and inverters do link into Octopus, just as uh, a little extra bit of information for anyone watching along. If you've enjoyed this content, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions around the install as an installer or a consumer, please do drop them in below. Any tips, tricks or feedback for us as well to improve what we're doing, we're always greatly receptive to those. Matty and Nathan have done the bulk of this. I've just come along to make the final commissioning connections. They are absolute powerhouses at these now. They absolutely love it. Uh, they're brilliant with the customers. They're smashing it. And um, yeah, full credit to them. It's, it's excellent work. And as, a, as an electrician coming along without them working for me, reviewing the stuff they do day to day, it is top line and they should be very proud of themselves. Please do get involved in the comments and otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.